Arizona Supervisor Jonathan Lines joins me now. Jonathan, great to see you. Uh, let me first talk about the containers. Were they having an effect? Were they stemming the flow? Uh, absolutely, and I am standing directly in front of one of those gaps, uh, which lies directly behind me. You can see Mexico behind me. Those uh, containers served a purpose to give operational advantage to Border Patrol and to local law enforcement, where all of the people that were coming across the border were forced into one particular spot. That area also where they're coming across has video capabilities uh, and other uh, ground sensing, which gives us a good indication of the actual numbers coming across. Now, with these five areas opened up right here, directly in my proximity with one and two miles, uh, we have seen an increase. Uh, right now, the water in the Colorado is significantly higher, so the numbers have been reduced. But Border Patrol told me that as soon as the Colorado uh, recedes, then we will start to see those exact same numbers pop up again with an increase in the trafficking of uh, narcotics as well. Jonathan, did, did you explain to the Biden administration when they, they said that they get rid of them or we'll sue you and they did sue you and now you have to get rid of them? Did you explain how effective these barriers were? Yes, and I actually had that conversation with Senator Kelly uh, while they were working on the omnibus package a couple of weeks ago, right before the holidays. He came off the floor. I expressed and shared my concerns. He reiterated that he was going to work with the administration and DHS uh, to get these gaps filled. So far, nothing has happened. Uh, Ducey's action, Governor Ducey's actions actually forced the feds to recommit to a commitment that they had given the mayor and I a year ago, and that was to fill in these gaps. Governor Tusi took action simply because Secretary Mayorkas did not deliver on his promise that he made to us mm. here in Yuma on the ground. Unbelievable. And, and explain exactly how bad the situation was that led to these barriers. That is, how overcrowded, for example, were the facil facilities you had to, to process the migrants? So first and foremost, they were at 200 percent capacity, uh, but that doesn't even begin to talk about the local impact on our community. Our hospital is uh, in excess of $20 million of cost directly related to the illegals coming across the border, not to mention our NGOs, the food bank, and some of the other area agencies that have been assisting. Only one agency has actually been reimbursed. The rest of those costs have been borne by the uh, citizens of Yuma County and the state of Arizona. The state of Arizona and the citizens of Yuma and our NGOs here are doing the jobs that the feds won't do. I am here because I want to support Border Patrol in their efforts to provide national security and border security. And that's something that the administration is not concerned about. I'm concerned about the flow of narcotics coming across. I'm concerned about the fact that the cartels control our border. The federal government does not. They've abdicated that responsibility. And the cartels are making a significant amount of money. When you look at some of the costs of human lives across the border, hmm. less than 20 miles from where I'm standing, the cartels have been warring and they've had over 100 assassinations this year in an attempt to control this area of the border. Nobody talks about that. Wow. Unbelievable. I don't know if you heard President Biden today in his speech. Uh, it was it was uh, just at about noon. But he said that he wanted to help states like yours to secure their border. Uh, do you believe that he has turned over a new leaf or, or do you not believe him? Well, he shouldn't have sued the state and he shouldn't have sued Governor Ducey until he was able to step up and do something. It's two years too late and having no done nothing to mitigate the challenges that we have in these border towns uh, in Arizona. And, and finally, the people of Arizona. Explain how they are suffering as a result of this influx. Well, you know, we have uh, Yuma in this specific area. We are an agriculture and a military town. Military has had to shut down exercises because of the illegals coming across the border. And the agricultural uh, production companies have had to add uh, additional manpower to keep people from walking through some of these areas. We have a concern about the security around food production. We produce 93 percent of all of the leafy green vegetables for the United States during the winter. Uh, it's just over a three billion dollar industry. And the Biden administration has done nothing to assist us in this area, not to mention the other areas of Arizona. So very quickly, do you think what we'll see Sunday is just going to be a photo op? 
Yeah, for the most part, I don't expect anything to change. We're told that these areas should be plugged up in 120 days, but we had that commitment previously from the secretary directly. Uh, that should have been taken care of by September, and nothing has happened, and that's mm -hmm. why Governor Ducey acted. Supervisor Jonathan Lines from Arizona, we wish you the very best, sir. Thank you very much for being here. Appreciate it. Thank you.